Ah, finally got one. Okay, now don't jinx it. I've been working all day for this fish. All day. Oh my God. That feels so good. Now I gotta see if I can get it on the net. Probably not a big one, no, in my luck, but at this point, I just want to fish. Well, he's not too small. Doesn't, doesn't want to get in the net though. Big fish for this net. Yeah, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Now normally you don't take a bull trout out of the water, but uh, on this uh, particular river you could actually uh, target them. Um, not that I would ever keep a bull trout, but uh, because of that you can actually hold them out of the water. Uh, but he's doing just great. get a better footage. All right, let's see if we can get a little underwater release. Hey guys, uh, so I've been fishing all day. Had two on. Um, I just got that last fish literally in the last hole. I mean, I can see my pole out right here. So I was pretty frustrated today, uh, but it's nice ending with uh, with one good fish. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I'm using. Um, I am using an Echo uh, 10 foot 10 uh, switch number seven, uh, a Reddington uh, Rise reel. And then the fly, see if I can disconnect this here, is um, my version of my John Wick that, uh, I've written about. Um, it's white, uh, bunny fur on the back. It's got two beads, stinger hook. Um, this one's a little bit different than the other ones as I put um, kind of a blue uh, and black stripe on the top of it. Uh, it's got the tungsten bead still, pretty much the same as the John Wick that I've showed you in some of my other videos. Um, always works good for bulls and today uh, it didn't disappoint. Uh, so put in your time and uh, you can have those frustrating days, but ending with one nice fish, um, I'm always happy with that. All right, guys, uh, have a good one.